Hello, this is Eric. Um, I'm going to show you something today on the Velectro 2.8 uh, BTPR glider I'm developing, which is, as you all know, a foam board constructed wing, which consists of two 55 inch panels, 11 inch root, 7 inch tip. Um, all these need right now is the ailerons cut out and the servos installed, and they're ready to go. But I had to develop a uh, wing mounting system under this fuselage I'm using. And uh, part of the problem with the foam board, obviously, there's no, there's no integrity. There's no support to it within itself. So it has to be supported to keep the, the cord clean and consistent and stable. Um, so I went ahead and developed this uh, last week. And um, what it consists of is we have our 20 inch, eight, eight millimeter diameter carbon fiber rod. Um, for a spar rod and I made this uh, airfoiled uh, insert assembly which is traced off of the airfoil shape this part of the wing right here it's an exact copy of that and I glued on a two inch wide basswood ply piece on the bottom and then cross cross installed some balsa for sanding into the radius of the uh, fuselage saddle and plus, putting it crossways gives it more integrity as well, gives it more strength. And I also installed this uh, carbon fiber uh, bushing, which is part of the tube that came with the set to give it stability and easier to, in the, to install and dis disassemble in the field and keep this from cracking up. And plus, it gives it more strength when, when the wing is coming up and down a little bit so it won't split this balsa piece here. This is half inch material. Then we have a, a top plate, which is 1 8 thick a material, a basswood as well, and the two screws. All of this together weighs 1.2 or 1.3 ounces. It's very light, so it turned out really nice weight-wise. So let me show you how it goes together. So you first install, this is uh, the carbon fiber rod, and you do this all off the fuselage first. Fall into the left wing, like that. Install the right wing. And watch how this goes together. It's really nice. Real nice net fit. So that gets put together loose like that, and we install the fuselage underneath. We take our plate, make sure we have the arrow going forward. These are 1032 nylon screws, by the way. The reason for the nylon is to give it a breakaway point in case the wing hooks up onto the ground or hits something that you don't want to hit and saves the fuselage. That's the main reason. Install that bolt there. Install the rear bolt. And what's what's happening here is this plate is actually matching any deformities between the two panels exactly together, and is bringing everything down together into the saddle. I generally like to put the front first because it has a little bit more radius than the rear. So I want to get that down. Just make it snug. Bring it to the rear. Bring it snug. And there we have it. So it's all together. You see the back side. Top side. So you may be asking, well, how, Eric, are you going to keep those wings on? Because they will slip out. Yes, they will. <laughs> this is not enough holding force to keep the wings from coming out of the sockets. So what we're going to do is use a, I'm going to pre-tape these wings with a clear material. And then I'm going to use a two-inch wide a Mylar tape. This will be painted white, so it'll have a gloss finish. And uh, I'm just going to tape these wings on. Tape them right on. We've, had, we've done this a lot with other planes. Of this size 
with really no issue at all. So I may end up putting some magnets inside here, one fore and aft. We'll have to see how it goes. But that's the idea is to tape that wing on and uh, and let it let it go, let it fly. So that's the uh, the insert assembly. I don't know if you can see the leading edge or not. So that's the uh, foam board wing assembly. Worked out really well. So hope you uh, hope you enjoy it and uh, hope it's an idea that maybe you might utilize in your plane. Alrighty, thanks guys.